We are gathered here today for season three of the Mercenary Olympics. If you're unfamiliar with the Mercenary Olympics, this is a series where we put mercenaries through grueling tests and see just how far they can go. So we're live in the studio right now about to watch the first event, the seal pop. All right, time for fortitude. Time for fortitude. That was really good RNG right there. That was like top notch RNG right there. Wow. That's. Can we get it under one minute? Can we get it under one minute? Let's see. If we get it under one minute, the title's gonna be hammered in so overpowered the mercenary can take out chaos in under one minute. Whole lot of swinging and missing. And he's definitely enchanted as well. That's why people play caster characters. He's trying to make up for all of that good RNG though that we got on the way over here. That's all that is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, time for chaos again. How good of an RNG can we get this time? Perfect. Ah, oh, it was. God, I'm getting smacked by that. That fire. We can't get it. Way shittier RNG, just like the way that the map is right there. Way harder to pinpoint and target, specifically him. So, I mean, RNG goes into this so much right here. But then, look how much faster the Diablo kill is right here. Literally, because I had Ariat's face on the last run. I have G-Face on this one. That difference in the crushing blow might actually be the... Here we go. If we get good RNG on this to Sace, we just gotta hope we get good RNG. Where is he? Sneaky. Really sneaky. Good, 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 good. That could have been real bad. One's infected. There we go. Grief? Grief might be better. Just because of all that attack speed and everything, it's really not even necessarily the damage, it's the base and the attack speed that it gets from. Grief and treachery. Look at that. 
Wow. Okay, let's... And then you can just look at the timer. Or maybe think of it from the moment that he... This is a shitty one. <laughs> 